vitality moments. Yes, it's all about water today and the drops. Welcome and love into your world to share with you the magic of vitality. This morning we had a wonderful rain and it was just incre incredibly beautiful to witness the water. And as you could see, some of these beautiful plants are still holding on to the last drops. What is water and vitality? Well, it's not only the element of water. Water is really vitality in its own. The research of Schaumburg and research of many others have shown the magic of water. Remember Imoto Masuro, the Japanese guy and the water crystals? And that movie maybe, what the bleep do we know? So what is that vitality that we can find in water? We are mostly water. We have all different kind of liquids within us, apart from the obvious blood. So what is it when we really connect to the water? It's always a good thing to start with the water within. What water do you put inside of you? What liquids? How do they nourish you? How do they create vitality in you? What is the water that you're drinking? And how are you connected to this vitality? And then let's go without, in the rain, the beautiful drops of water that nurtures the earth and the plants, that makes the birds take their little shower in the water, and that really brings life to earth. So water is such a great symbol of vitality. Unfortunately, like when we spoke about the air, it's very polluted. We haven't understood as humanity how to cherish and how to nurture and cultivate the vitality of water. But maybe now, today, is a good time. When we step away from what we think should be, when we step away from what we feel that we need, who we are, maybe then we can come back into this vitality with water. On the path and medicine of water, it's all about healing. And water is also about our emotions and our feelings. And often we experience water when some big things are happening within us emotionally. And there is obviously the Yemaya Asesu, the time when the, when the water, the river, meets the ocean. This is the time when we all become one. This is the time of vitality. So how can you become one with the magic of water? How can you be part of these beautiful crystals in the water, as Imoto has shown us. They are all there. And all it takes is your presence and your love to share your vitality with the water that you have within and the water that you are present to in your environment. There's many people who are healing the water now the clearing the oceans. And maybe one of the benefits, of course, was we have much less pollution of the waters. The animals are coming back and many are helping to help raising that frequency of the water. As you know, one of my gifts is the medicine of air. So let me play the flute for all of us to recognize the vitality in water, the water within and the water without, sharing this moment 
of the vital water with you. So I hope you can feel this water. I hope you also sense that whatever we perceive in the water can be changed. Your water within may have carried trauma and pain, depression and suffering, even fear and anxiety. And it's the same water that can cleanse us all. So I'm inviting you to these moments of vitality with water. There will be more. Thank you for being here today to share moments of vitality with the vitality shamans and nature, the paradise here in the jungle of Peru.